Hello everyone, welcome to the ATEC channel. Today we're going to talk about an extraordinary discovery, plastic batteries. Renewable energy technologies such as solar and wind power are developing at an incredible speed. But there is still one problem to solve, storing this energy. Lithium ion remains to this day the most used technique, mainly because of its revolutionary low cost and high energy density. However, we can't rely on one technology to meet all of our needs. What if there was a way to make a battery made of plastic? That's what one company, with the help of a team of MIT researchers, is making happen. So what's the difference between this new plastic battery and its lithium-ion counterpart? What are its advantages and disadvantages, and how might it be used? That's what we're gonna find out right now. Let's get started. In our previous videos, we've already discussed how a battery works. They're made from different materials and contain three major active components, an anode, a cathode, and an electrolyte. Energy is generated by chemical reactions between the materials, resulting in accumulation of electrons and ions at the anode. Like metal-based batteries, the reaction polymer-based battery is between a positive and a negative electrode with different redox potentials. An electrolyte transports charges between these electrodes. For a substance to be suitable battery active material, it must be capable of participating in chemical or thermodynamically reversible the redox reaction. Unlike metal-based batteries, whose redox process is based on valence recharge of metals, the redox process of polymer-based batteries is based on a charge of changed state of organic material. In this frantic race to store energy, several parameters must be taken into consideration. It is, of course, necessary to find the most conductive materials for those with the highest storage capacity, but that's not all. Cost is also a very important factor in the moment. Lithium remains the champion of all categories, because it has a very high energy density, but it can also undergo multiple charge and discharge cycles, and its cost remains acceptable. Although the energy world would not be the same without lithium-ion batteries, there are good reasons to continue exploring new battery technologies. Indeed, the price of lithium-ion batteries has been declining over the past few decades, but recently, there has been dramatic increases in price to raw lithium and other materials. In addition, some of the materials in lithium-ion batteries such as cobalt, magnesium, and lithium itself carry environmental risks. At present, we don't know if there will be enough material reserves to meet our world's energy needs. For these reasons, researchers must continue to explore new solutions. That's where Boston-based energy storage company Paul Jun comes in. This company is at the forefront of the brand new technology that does not use metal at all. Instead, they use a material called conductive polymers. But they aren't already lithium polymer ion batteries or lipo batteries. Yes, they are. The lipo batteries have a polymer electrolyte. Instead of a liquid electrolyte, they use a metal or cathodes and graphite. The properties of polymer allow these materials to be incredibly strong and conductive, which means they can act like metals even though they're all organic materials. There are a number of polymers that are electrically conductive. This polymer-based technology is not new. The Nobel Prize in Chemistry was awarded to a group of three researchers for discovering the development of conducting polymers in 2000. Polyjol batteries are essentially built the same way as any other traditional battery, but instead of lithium or cobalt, they use conductive polymers as the cathode, a hybrid carbon graphene anode, and a non-flammable liquid electrolyte. So what makes this new technology so innovative? Compared to lithium ion, polyjol batteries have several advantages. For starters, they bypass some supply chain issues that other batteries face. The materials aside, these batteries are much more abundant than lithium or cobalt and can be easily synthesized. In practical terms, this would mean the end of mining, and that's pretty good news. In addition to these batteries not containing flammable electrolyte and do not use highly reactive materials like lithium, they can dispense with the temperature management and fire suppression systems that only other batteries require. They also tolerate much colder temperatures than lithium ion batteries. Polyjoule claims that energy cost of their batteries is about 30% lower than lithium ion with the target cost. The target cost is about $65 per kilowatt hour, which is certainly a bit higher than $20 per kilowatt hour. That same researchers consider the critical price for energy storage, but it's still significantly lower than lithium ion, which ranges from $143 to $250 per kilowatt hour. Polyjoule batteries could potentially last longer than lithium ion batteries. Currently, lithium-ion batteries have a lifespan of about 15 to 20 years, but Polyjoule promises that its technology could be almost double that. A Polyjoule team lab performed 12,000 charge cycles with 100% discharge, so in terms of cost, this plastic battery could be cheaper to build, last longer, and degrade less over time than the competitors. 
We all know how plastic is bad for the environment, but according to PolyJewel, their batteries are 95% recyclable. And the use of polymers for this type of battery could create a whole new market for recyclable materials. And now, what about its performance? PolyJewel batteries have some power densities 10 times higher than lithium ion. The product under development can rapidly discharge up to the megawatt hour in less than 10 seconds. Then, fully recharge to full capacity in less than 5 minutes. This can be compared to the Tesla battery that needs 30 minutes to recharge in 80% charge level. While these batteries have many advantages over conventional batteries such as higher power density, they simply cannot compete with energy density, which is the amount of electricity they can hold per unit volume. Lithium ion batteries have 5 times the energy density that of polymer batteries. This means that PolyJewel will need a battery 5 times larger to store the same amount of energy. But then, why would you buy a plastic battery, which would be 5 times bigger, but last 2 or 3 times longer and cost a little less? Let's not forget that they have 5 times the power density, which is ideal for power surges in large appliances like air conditioners and heaters. In 2021, PolyJewel CEO Eli Pastor said the ideas they're working on in the lab will be realized in 3 to 4 years. However, there is one piece of data which will have no information at this time, the actual efficiency of these plastic batteries. It's likely that PolyJewel will reveal data on the subject very soon. We'll be sure to keep you informed. However, it's likely that lithium-ion batteries will remain more efficient than other plastic counterparts. The development of this new technology has many surprises in store. Finally, it's often more advantageous for companies to buy new plastics than recycle plastic. The latter is much more expensive to purchase. If a company like PolyJewel finds the solution to the recycling of plastic waste and succeeds of reusing for energy storage, the bet will be doubled. And that's it, we've reached the end of our topic for today. If you enjoyed this video, leave us a little blue thumb. If you don't want to miss our next topic, don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to turn the notification bells on. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, and we'll see you soon on ATEC.